Welcome to Thin Maestro. In today's video, we will learn how to do the data consolidation in Excel using the consolidate feature in the data ribbon. So we have here four different tabs and each tab contains a balance sheet of the respective companies that is company A, B, C and D and which we need to consolidate uh, into a single consolidated uh, balance sheet for the parent. So we'll be using the consolidate function in the data ribbon for this purpose. So we'll quickly learn how to do this. So I'm pressing the consolidate uh, button. There are different functions which we can use and the default function is sum. And here also we are going to use the sum function. And now I have to select the references uh, for the uh, data range. So what we need to do is uh, click on this browse button and click on the respective data range which we need to select to do the consolidation. So here I'm going to select the first tab and once you once you select the range what we what you have to do is basically to add this range to the references. So you can see that that has been added to the all references. Now the similar thing which we have to do for the other tabs so just select the tab you don't have to do select the browse button you just need to select the tab excel will automatically select the range for you and keep on adding these uh, data ranges into your references so i'm, I'm adding all the four uh, different tabs and you can do a cross check here in the all references you can see that company a b c and d has been successfully added uh, now the next step is to basically use the labels in the top row or the left column so either we can actually use the label so we can actually avoid using the label so there are two different types of consolidation that is doing in excel one is based on category and another is based on position so the if you are actually using the position and that is uh, when when you have the data in different tabs or in the different boxes that's in the same format then you don't have to basically look into the uh, row or the column labels then you can actually use the position considerable position but if you have the data in a different format so in a different rows then basically what you can do is uh, use the consolidation by category so that in that case you have to select the row and the respective uh, column labels here in this case i'm going to select the top row and the left column and i will tell you the reason for that as well i'm not going to check this checkbox that is basically for to create the links to source data i'm not going to do that i'm going to press ok button and then we'll see what's going to happen okay so we can see that we have successfully consolidated uh, all the different balance sheet into one single tab that is console parent ABCD. You can you have seen that how quickly we have done this. And now if you if you actually look into this particular cell, you can see that uh, this is actually a paste special values. So if I actually go back uh, to the company A and if I change the value to thousand, it's not going to change in the consolidated tab. So if you want to make the effect what we need to do is just to run the consolidation once again so i have done the consolidation once again so when you do this second time you already have all those references over there so you just need to press the ok button so now you can see that the value has changed to 1000 uh, i want to change that to 907 again and it's pretty easy click on the same so i have highlighted the cell b3 so that is the place where i have selected to do the consolidate so if you if you select a different cell then possibly your entire data is going to be replaced and that's going to be put in a different place so make sure that whenever you do it again you have a common place or a common cell you are selecting and then doing the consolidate so you can see the value is back to 907 now we will see uh, one more additional uh, feature that is consolidating uh, creating links to source data so if you press this checkbox you can see that excel is automatically creating additional rows here so if you, you can see that it's actually creating four different rows and the reason for this four different rows is basically these are the reference to the four different data ranges we had that is the four different tabs we had so if we had five tabs to consolidate we will have five different rows coming over here so this cell is specifically referencing to the respective tab 
and then you have a some function basically to add all these things together the only problem with this is that it is creating that additional uh, rows and that might be a little bit inconvenience for us when we have a common template or a common template when we are working with so uh, i'm going to delete this and my suggested uh, approach for the consolidation is to use the option without the create links to source data so if you want to if you actually want to change the values just run the consolidation once again in the same cell and without the create links to source data just run the console once again and it's it's very quickly and easily run the console for you and you'll have the new value so pretty easy way to consolidate data and just before before uh, wrapping up i just want to show you one more thing that is if you see the inventories in uh, company A, you can see that uh, it's in the row 6. But if you actually see the company B, the inventory is lying in the row 7. Even it's in the different rows, since we have used the checkbox, since we have used the checkbox, that is the using the labels in the top row and the left column, especially the left column. What Excel has done is basically it has consolidated from the different rows into one single row in the consolidated tab. Now, uh, you can see that uh, in this case, the Excel has put the values in different columns. So instead of this, if you want to just consolidate entire thing into one column, then what you have to do is basically, I'm going to delete uh, the entire values. I'm going to show this once again. What you have to do is that you have to have the same column header for all the different ranges. So I'm going to change from company A, B, C, D to a common reference that is the amount column and I will do the consolidation once again. Now we can see that uh, instead of the four different columns, I have one single column. So that will actually adds up all the different values and puts into one single cell. So pretty useful feature. Hope you have enjoyed. Uh, this tutorial and you can actually use this file and this file you can find in my blog that is finmaestro.com slash blog and if you actually look into the particular post and you will see this file inside this post so thank you for watching and happy excelling